Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're going to have a look at some alignment tricks in Hard Ops. So Hard Ops is a paid for add-on often bought together with Box Cutter. Box Cutter is the tool that allows you to do things like this really quickly and there's a lot more to do besides that. But it is a really, really useful tool. I'll put a link in the description to a playlist on Box Cutter and another one on Hard Ops. But I've been meaning to do a bit more on Hard Ops for a while, so this seemed like a good place to start looking at some alignment tricks. What we're going to do is have a look at one in Object Mode and another one in Edit Mode. Let's start with one in Object Mode, and this is a very simple tool. All we need to do is select multiple objects. I'm using three here just for this demonstration. And if we hit Q to get the Hard Ops menu, in the Mesh tools you've got this Reset Axis or Align Selection. You click on that, and then we get these options. First one that I'll mention is that we can hit C to bring everything to the cursor. This could be one object or multiple objects. You'll notice we can undo this and this will still keep functioning, which is really nice. Now all the other options are related to axes and they focus on the active object. So in this instance, I have that set up to be the object with a blue outline. So what we could do is use our keyboard key. So for example, I can hit Z and then it will now align perfectly to the Z axis or the X axis or the Y axis. I'm just gonna undo those. Or what I more regularly do is just scroll down on my mouse wheel. One scroll for X axis, you can see it's now stated at the bottom. One more for Y axis and then one more for the Z axis. So this is really useful for aligning objects together. I absolutely love it. The other option, if I just once again undo this, is you can just hit A and that perfectly aligns everything to those objects. Now obviously aligning is really useful for a number of reasons, but one that I mentioned recently in another video was if we get something like a plane and scale that up and this is gonna be our surface or our ground, we can use something like the 3D viewport pie menus, link to that video in the description, to control Alt and X, and we could put, say, the origins to the bottom of each object, and then from that point, select our plane, Q, reset axes, and then just scroll down to Z, and then everything is perfectly placed on our plane. So really useful for aligning objects. Let's just delete those out, and we've got one more thing to look at, and that is doing some aligning in edit mode. Now. Let's say I've got this and for some reason I've messed up this nice straight line. Now obviously we could symmetrize this with either native tools or I'm using mesh machine or just a normal mirror, but if this isn't something that's symmetrical, this could be really annoying. So let's say I've got three vertices selected and I want to start fixing this. I could try using that same trick. So I could hit Q, flatten a line selected and then select an axis, for example the X axis. Now if I just scroll off of this, what we can see is this averages them out when in vertex mode because there isn't an active object. So this isn't going to be perfect. It's not going to set this exactly to one axis, which is really annoying. We could use tools from the video I mentioned earlier as I want to do this in the X axis, and that's great, but that goes to the maximum in that direction. So I can't do all of these at the same time because let's say this one is over here. And if I Alt and A and then go in the X axis, then it goes too far. What we could do instead, let's just click off of those, is hit Q and then in Mesh Tools, go to the Align Vertices tool. Now, this works in a really nice way. It's very simplistic. What we have to do is we start in the Draw mode. You can see that at the bottom. And we click on a vertex and click on another vertex. This could be, let's say, all the way over there. And you can see this draws this line. Now, from that point on, we can change mode. We can hit S to go to Snap. And at this point, any vertex I click on, will get snapped to that line. So it was that quick to get fixed. Really, really nice. And you'll notice that worked in all axes, X, Y, and Z, to get these perfectly on this darker line. The other thing you can do is hold down Shift and click on one of the vertices that was moved, and it will go back to where it was. So if you realize you've made a mistake, you can sort of undo it and not undo everything that you've done. Now, importantly, you click space to confirm that, and then you're done. Now, there's some really nice features here. For example, let's just do this on a smaller scale. This does get a bit messy on a big scale. If I Q and then we'll go to align vertices again and click here and then here and then S to snap and then there, you can see this isn't quite correctly spaced. But if we hit E, we equalize the vertices so they're now perfectly in the middle. 
but that only works on the vertices that have been selected. So for example, if I was to do all of them, let's just escape out of that. Q, align vertices, click there and then there, and then S, and then start working on these. So there we go. And then hit E. This isn't gonna work perfectly because some of those vertices weren't actually used. So at that point, you might want to use something like loop tools. Let's just quickly undo that. The other thing that I should point out is that doesn't require, let's just come back into this again, this doesn't require you selecting vertices for the initial phase that are all the way across the ones that are gonna move. For example, I could just click there and there, and it knows that this darker black line that we've got here to just carry that on. So again, I can hit S and just start clicking these and they'll go into place. The final thing I mentioned is that there is a circle which we can scroll in and out on our mouse wheel to make bigger, and that can select multiple vertices at the same time. For example, I could hit both of those, and both of those, and they're all gonna move to it. And you can just click and drag and get everything moved to that line. So that's a potential option there as well. Now there is another function which I'm gonna be honest, I don't understand, and if you can work it out, please say so in the comments because I just can't get this in my head, or at least I get it, but I don't understand a really good use for it. So let's just select that tool again, click there and there, then S to start snapping, and we'll click those. And then if we go to G, we get this grab option where I can click and start moving everything around, and it moves all of the vertices that we've previously shifted. Now I could see this being really useful if there was like a snapping function, and I guess there are some uses for this if you wanna tweak it about a bit, but I'm gonna be honest, this slightly baffles me. I can't really think of a great use of this. So there we go. I should also say if we scroll up and down once we've done this, you do get to start moving things left and right, which is probably useful for tweaking. Anyway, those are some align options in hard ops. Hopefully you find those useful. I find a surprising amount of instances in projects where these become very, very handy. And if you do think you're going to use these or you found out something new, hitting that like button would be really appreciated. Alternatively, if you don't have hard ops or box cutter and are interested in them, there's an affiliate link to those and there is also a bundle where if you get them together, you get them on a discount. And using those links cost you no extra, but a little bit of money does go towards the channel and that really helps out. Hope to see you in the next video and have a great day.